The universe is predictably unpredictable. Take, for example, the weather. Analysts at the Weather Channel, they have some pretty powerful models that they can use to make predictions. But then, somewhere, a butterfly flaps its wings, and storms start building. And eventually, all bets are off for long-term predictions. It's not the Weather Channel's fault. Small changes in predictable systems can lead to huge consequences and unpredictability. It's a phenomenon called chaos, or the butterfly effect. And it's pretty common in our world. But what about the world of a single atom? That's a world described by the laws of quantum physics. And back in 1917, Einstein pointed out that uncertainty at the quantum level is very different from the unpredictability of chaos that we see in our world. So can we observe a quantum butterfly effect? Well, almost a century after Einstein's paper, we're finding some interesting answers. We cannot directly see an atom. But if we shine a laser beam at a cloud of atoms, the atoms can interact with the light, and they leave their footprints in the light. So by analyzing the light, we can extract a picture of the atom. Here's such a picture from my colleague Paul Yesen's lab at the University of Arizona. The world of the atom is the surface of a sphere, kind of like a planet. But the laws of quantum physics are strange. In particular, the uncertainty principle, which tells us that we cannot know precisely where the atom is on the surface of this sphere. Because even if we measure as, as well as we can, the uncertainty pr principle tells us we cannot do this. So this is a picture of likelihood. Red shows where the atom is most likely to be, and blue where it's least likely to be. And if we can take many such pictures over time, we can put them together and make a movie. So after a couple of years of designing and imaging and analysis, we had it. The first movies of this kind ever made. Here it is. For the first time, you can sit back, relax, and enjoy an atomic movie. A documentary showing an atom swaying in a beautiful quantum dance. And if we change the system a little bit, we can change the dance. The swaying disappears, and it's replaced by a more random, chaotic behavior. This is what chaos looks like at the quantum level, the quantum butterfly effect. And here's what's really interesting. Quantum particles can get locked together in a powerful connection called entanglement. So a change to one of the quantum particles can instantly affect the other particles, no matter how far away they are in the universe. What's interesting in our atomic system is that the more random and chaotic that dance becomes, the more entanglement can be generated. And that's important, because entanglement is a resource. Just like the fuel we need to drive our cars, entanglement is the fuel we need to drive our future quantum technologies. So it's the key to ultra-high-speed quantum computers, or high-precision imaging, fast searches through big data, teleportation, or perhaps some technology that we haven't even dreamed of as yet. So the butterfly, uh, butterfly effect is not good for the weather channel, but that beautiful entangling dance of the quantum butterfly may lead us to new tools for information processing. As we make our computer chips and our devices smaller and smaller, we will inevitably reach the quantum scale, this incredible invisible world that is now becoming visible. And it's going to be exciting, because quantum uncertainty can lead to unpredictability, but also to possibility. Thank you.